Uh, hello, Denise. I'm making this video <clears throat> so you can uh, see this really unique program that might help you uh, with your Mac and Windows partition problems that I noticed you were having at the Dean Stone banquet a year ago. But this is a much more eloquent solution, much more simpler solution to uh, the problem you had. I, th I think it's a great software, and it's something you might want to put on your Christmas list. It's 60 bucks for the software and the software is called Parallels Desktop 7 and it is really cool so um, let me give you an example here so like say you want to get into your Windows Start menu it runs Windows uh, the software Parallels virtualizes your Windows from your boot camp drive and runs it alongside Mac OS 10 so that's what it does and it, and it makes it Make so all your Windows applications run like Mac applications. So let me show you. So in the menu bar here, you got this little icon. It's a, the Parallels icon. You click that, and this is how you get to your Start menu. Select Windows Start menu, and there it is, your Windows Start menu. And you can access any application from here that you could possibly want. Uh, your computer. You can even access your control panel for that. Add Windows partition. <laughs> Give it a minute here. And you can see that you could basically run anything that's on Windows through Parallels and it will run it alongside your Mac application. So for example, say if you're f trying to figure out how to do something in Control Panel and you're browsing Safari. This is in full screen mode so let's take this out of full screen. But just to prove my point, there's a Windows application running alongside a Mac, Mac Safari. So it, it's just really cool. And then, you know, you have to log into your Windows partition to start, but it's, it's pretty simple. And just kind of an example here, you can also uh, run Windows programs from the dock. So if like if you have a popular Windows program that you use constantly, like for you Denise it would be PowerPoint, you can put it right on the dock, just like you would Mac. So you just go to options. So say this wasn't on wasn't on the dock. You go to your Windows applications. You can just put it right on the dock. There you go just like that <clears throat> that's how simple it can be so anyway I just thought I'd show you that and this is Internet Explorer by the way so it does run Windows programs and it runs them really well so it's Parallels Desktop 7 <clears throat> and uh, anyway just add it to your wish list I think it might solve your problems you've been having with transferring Windows files onto Mac